Hello, everyone. I'm Governor Jim Justice, and uh, today we've got some exciting news and some fun stuff to talk about, and uh, we're primarily talking about, you know, a program, you know, that, uh, that our hunters and fishermen are, are, you know, are doing in regard to, you know, signing up to be an organ donor. We'll talk about that in just a few minutes. The, uh, the other thing, which is a really exciting thing, we're announcing, you know, that, uh, you know, you can buy your or purchase your 2021 uh, hunting and fishing licenses where that they will automatically, you will automatically be entered into a drawing for two lifetime licenses or a vacation getaway at one of our West Virginia state parks or, or you know, uh, there's a gift bag from the West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, which is really interesting too. So there's a bunch of, a bunch of ways to win here and without any uh, you know, extra dollars spent on your part in any way. Uh, we had a lot of fun with it last year and we had some real nice winners and everything and uh, the possibility of picking up a lifetime license in West Virginia, that's, that's really big time. And so we encourage everyone to, to sign up and, uh, and get your hunting and fishing license and, and, and get them right now and everything for the up and coming year. You know, uh, again, I, I, I could go on and on about West Virginia. You know, I'm, I'm a real hunter and a real fisherman, and I have done that my entire life. Now, to tell you the honest truth, it's even a little tougher because uh, as you get older, you played a little bit of ball and everything, and you were probably too slow to get out of the way, and you got hit a lot, and that was me. And so your, your knees are tore up, and your hip is torn up, and, and, uh, and we need some replacements at this point in time. But, but with all that, I still, I still go, and I still go out as much as I possibly can. I still try to follow a bird dog around and, and you know, chase a grouse here and there. And uh, I still really, it's hard to imagine, but I still try to even crawl around and catch a little native brook trout. And, uh, and so with all that being said, I, I could never tell you what uh, a joy it has been through my life to be in the woods and to be on our waters and to enjoy West Virginia like I have. It's been a tremendous blessing, and I can tell anyone that's out there for crying out loud, get yourselves out and enjoy the outdoors in this phenomenal state. Take a kid. Take a kid and introduce him or her into something that is something that will instill a calmness and a beautifulness in their hearts and their memories all throughout forever. It is absolutely just, I can never say enough, you know, it... Uh, it's been a blessing throughout all my life, and I hope a blessing for many, 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 many years to come. But uh, so, again, I encourage everyone, buy your license, buy your license, buy your license right now. It also marks our first anniversary with a partnership between the DNR and CORE. And I think the lady's name is Colleen Sullivan, and she'll be coming on in just a few minutes. But... Uh, which is the center, uh, CORE is the Center for Organ Recovery and Education. The partnership between the DNR and CORE has allowed more than 25,000 West Virginians to register for organ donation. And you know, with, with one person, with one person, you can save seven lives. It is, uh, you know, with all the focus here in the last little bit on this pandemic, it kind of gets us thinking, you know, from the standpoint of, you know, thinking toward the medical end of, of what's going on with our lives and how important organ donation is. And so, so with all that, you know, I, I encourage you to, uh, to sign up and, and everything. And, 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 you know, you'll hear more about that in just a second. Last year, we had over 10,000 entrants into this program. And uh, we had you know, in, from the standpoint of, of buying your hunting and fishing license, the DNR, for the first time in six years, we had an increase in our hunting and fishing license. That's great news. And the reason it's great news to me is because all those people that are getting introduced into 
West Virginia is wonderful, wonderful outdoors. It will only make them better. You mark it down. You mark it down as silly as you may think it may be. A lot of people can see a scarlet tanager. A scarlet tanager has brilliant, beyond belief, brilliant red and absolutely some black also, but brilliant red beyond belief. You know, you may have seen a scarlet tanager. You may have seen a bluebird. You may have seen the biggest buck in the world or the biggest and most beautiful rainbow trout, but absolutely, until you really, really go, until you're really there, you really haven't seen them. You really may have seen them in a book or whatever, but you've really not seen them. But when you really do see them, it will really touch your heart. Trust me. Trust me. Get involved. Go, go to the West Virginia outdoors. It is phenomenal beyond belief. You know, the good Lord has blessed me through my life, and now I surely have the ability that I could go wherever in this world, wherever in the world, you know, I could go and I could trout fish or I could go and I could, you know, pursue any kind of, of game, whatever it may be, I could go. But you know what? I don't go. And the reason I don't go is one thing and one thing alone. There ain't anything better than here. There's no way. I could go all over the place. I don't go. I don't go to Africa or Argentina. I don't go. And the reason I don't go is because I truly believe in my heart it doesn't get better than right here in West Virginia. You know, catch the disease, and the disease is really simple. It is just the disease of knowing and seeing how beautiful West Virginia truly is. You know, uh, I've got to read one other thing. It says, we also saw our first increase in hunting and fishing license in six years. I just said that. As we ended up selling more than 73,000 licenses to those who did not have one the previous year. Now think about that. 73,000 people bought license in West Virginia last year that had never had or didn't have one the year before. It's great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. And, and you know, and, and, and it's evidence also by what's going on right now with our, in, in our buck season, you know, in our deer buck season. You know, right now, we have reported, and these aren't absolutely official yet, but we've reported 33,533 bucks that have been taken by hunters in West Virginia. And that was, you know, compared to 32,304 last year. It's uh, 1,229 ahead of last year. That's good. That just shows us that we're, you know, people are taking advantage of this great outdoor experience that we have in West Virginia. So many, so many things. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to pursue the, the biggest buck or the biggest trout, but as you pursue any type of our wildlife in our, in our West Virginia mountains and streams, you will have the time of your life and you'll be able to really see that scarlet tanager. And as you see it, you will be impacted with it forevermore. So uh, I'll, I'll pass now, and I guess I'm passing the baton to Steve McDaniel. And Steve, what an incredible job you've done. Uh, you know, I love you with all my soul. You are the best of the best, brother. Well, Governor, thank you. And uh, you know, speaking for sportsmen and women all over West Virginia, we appreciate your leadership, uh, not only over the last four years, but especially over the last uh, several months of this pandemic. Um, many, many people in West Virginia will know that uh, last year under the governor's direction, we gave free fishing to every West Virginia resident for two months. And what that, what that resulted in was thousands of West Virginians getting out on our waterways, and many of them being in, in, introduced to, to fishing for the very first time, and it paid dividends. Uh, the governor followed that up with offering significant discounts to West Virginia residents for lodging in, in our state parks. And we're coming off 
again, record-breaking numbers of, of visitors, not just West Virginia residents, but non-residents coming in, coming in to, to, to West Virginia. So, uh, you know, my grandma always used to say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And, and the governor's leadership and, and working with all of us, um, we're, we're making the very best of it that we can. Uh, we're here today and we're excited. Uh, year number two to do our uh, 2021 uh, license promotion giveaway um, in conjunction with the West Virginia Division of Tourism. Uh, as, la as we did last year, anybody who renews their hunting and fishing license, any West Virginia resident that renews their hunting and fishing license uh, from December 1st, 12.01 a.m., just the uh, day before yesterday, um, uh, through 11.59, December 31st, you will automatically be entered into our drawing, which we'll do it sometime in, in January to be a randomized uh, uh, selection from, from, from the computer process. And, and you will be entered into win not one this year. We gave away one last year. This year, the governor wanted to step it up. We're giving away two lifetime hunting and fishing licenses, as well as four trips to a West Virginia State Park. And we've got, I think, eight gift bags with our, our very popular West Virginia Gold Rush uh, items. And we're really excited about it. As the governor said last year, over 10,000 people took advantage uh, of purchasing that. And, and, and we're excited to, to get that started. But this year, uh, we, we, we are offering uh, some new opportunities in, in regards to hunting and fishing licenses. As many of you know, Southwick uh, completed a study for us early last year and uh, tried to give us some ideas of how we could make our product a little bit more enticing uh, to West Virginia residents. And one of those things that they came up with were these new bundle license privileges. So this year, when you go in to sign up uh, for your license renewal, you'll have three new options. One of them will be the X Plus, which is like, it, it, it's just like the popular X license, which is the sportsman's hunting and fishing package, but we're including the trout stamp, mostly for convenience. Our survey showed us that, that many people would like to have that convenience of just buying one license and having the stamp. So we're gonna provide that to you. There's no additional charge. Uh, it just, it's, it's just a bundle, bundle privilege. But the next two is what we're really excited about. Uh, people in West Virginia responded that they would like to see a multi-year license. So when you go to renew your license this year or purchase your license from the, for the first time, you'll be given the opportunity to buy what we call the X3, which is a three-year sportsman license, or the X3 Plus, which mirrors the X Plus. You can buy a three-year sportsman's license with your trout stamp. Now, how that happens, first of all, it's convenience. You'll, you'll buy it one time and, and you'll be in the system and you'll be taken care of for three years, but you also save the transaction fees. Now, a lot of people think that that's not a lot, but you know that ends up being four or 5% a discount if you buy them all this year. And you know, how many times do we, do we get, we're getting ready to go hunting and fishing and, 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 and we forget to renew our license and hopefully we're in a place that has cell service, we can get it done. So, so we encourage everyone this year to take advantage of those new three-year uh, multi-year licenses. And if you purchase a three-year, you'll not get one chance in the drawing, but you'll be given three chances into the, into the drawing for the, for the lifetime hunting fishing license and, and the prizes. So again, we thank the governor. We thank the West Virginia Division of Tourism uh, for their partnership in this. And we're very, very excited about uh, the, the, the upcoming year. And, uh, and, and, and we just can't wait, can't, can't, can't wait to get it started. Um, now, next, I'd like to, to, to introduce someone uh, from, from West Virginia Corps. The governor spoke about it. You know, the DNR was very, very uh, pleased to be able to, to work with these folks. Um, we have Colleen Sullivan here today from, uh, from Corps, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the, the organ donor program that we rolled out last year and, and just how successful it was. And, and again, we're, we're so excited to be, to be a part of that program because as she and I were talking earlier, there's nothing better than giving the gift of life. So with that, I'm going to turn over to, to Colleen. Thank you, Director McDaniel. I'm thrilled to join Governor Justice and Director McDaniel virtually for such an exciting moment. Today, we are not just celebrating one year since West Virginians were able to register as an organ donor when they purchased a hunting or fishing license. We are also celebrating the 25 thousand West Virginians who have chosen to hunt, fish, donate life, and signed up to be organ donors when buying these licenses. We are celebrating the thousands of lives potentially saved and healed with each of those registrations. 
They're celebrating Sam Romano, a West Virginia teenager who himself loves hunting and fishing, who received a life-saving heart transplant earlier this year. We're celebrating mom and wife, Bess Slack from Charleston, who received a double lung transplant just months ago, and who, because of the gift of life, was able to marry her longtime boyfriend. We're celebrating the fact that when West Virginia one year ago provided an organ donation registration option in its hunting and fishing license application, this state was one of the first to do so, solidifying its position as a leader in organ donation. We're celebrating the partnership between CORE, Donate Life West Virginia, the West Virginia Department of Natural Resources, and Governor Justice, which made this registration option even possible. And most importantly, we're giving hope to the 500 West Virginians who are right now waiting for a life-saving transplant, including Sammy Wilson, who at only 19 years old is in desperate need of a life-saving kidney transplant. And most importantly, we're giving her hope by those that have registered and made that decision on their hunting and fishing license. It goes with saying that in this moment is only possible because of the tireless collaborative efforts of all of our partners. That's why I'd like to specifically thank Governor Jim Justice, Department of Natural Resources Director Stephen McDaniel, Commerce Secretary Ed Gonch, Tourism Commissioner Chelsea Ruby, the DNR team, including Emily Fleming, Charles Kennedy, and Michael Ingram, Delegate Moore Capito, and Senators Mark Maynard and Mike Maroney. And a reminder that if you're not one of those 25,000 people who have signed up already while purchasing a hunting and fishing license, uh, we've heard earlier from Governor Justice, it's such a great opportunity to get out, to enjoy the nature, to go out and, and build that connection with nature and your family. So as you go and sign up, for your hunting and fishing license, remember to check that box and sign up as an organ and tissue donor. Thank you. Okay. Well, Colleen, thank you so much. And, and Steve, thank you. And thank all you great West Virginians that are, are signing up, you know, to be organ donors and, and everything. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful gift that you're giving, and, uh, and, and it can not only save lives, it can save lots and lots and lots of lives. So, so that's really, really good, and I congratulate you, and thank you both. I've got a couple questions, Steve. I don't want to put you on the, on the spot here, but uh, how, is there any way that uh, people can purchase these licenses from the standpoint of uh, a Christmas present? You know, you know can, can, can you purchase a license? Do you have to, you know, and, and is there any way, you have to know all the details about the person and all that stuff? Or? Absolutely. You can call, you know, call, call the, the Western Union Division of Natural Resources uh, or go online um, and, and, and ask for a customer service representative and they'll walk you through the process. We have, a, you know, a lot of times we have parents, family members that'll, that'll buy uh, the, the, the licenses as gifts. But yes, we can, we can work that out with you. Just give us a, give, give us a call and, uh, and, we, and we can take care of that. Well, that's great. That's great. And I, you know, I, I just was thinking that the other thing that I want to know is right over your right hand shoulder, I think I can see it. Under the, is that, whose picture is that on the wall? <laughs> that's my boss. You better, you better, you better keep that there for a little <laughs> while anyway. But, uh, but no, listen, guys, I, I really appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Uh, I think it's a, uh, it's a great opportunity for West Virginians to step up and and not only purchase their license and, and get in the drawing, but uh, it's a great opportunity for West Virginians to step up as organ donors and, and do some great work, you know, that uh, Colleen and, 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 and Director McDaniels are doing. And, uh, and Colleen, I, I really appreciate your directorship of, uh, of an organization, you know, the core organization is doing phenomenal work. So thank you so much in every way, and thank you both. And let's just keep doing it, West Virginia. You know, if you'll get this and get out there in, 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 in the wild and everything, you'll see, you'll see things that absolutely touch your heart. So I really mean it and believe it was all in me. So anyway, thank you so much.